And I think that's kind of the key is that when you ask men to understand, to kind of take seriously this asymmetry that, you know, um, you know, sex is potentially reproductive and um, that women are the ones whose bodies bear, you know, the consequences of, of sex, that it's basically bringing men into the whole experience um, much more fully of sex so that they're not just engaging in sex either for pleasure or for emotional connection or for the potential of actually, you know, having children and, and raising children. But that's so they understand the consequences of sex deep in women's bodies that should be deep in men's bodies too. And the kind of abstinence that's required, that's very hard sometimes for men, requires them to really see how self-mastery, sexual self-mastery is what enables them to really, um, uh, you know, I think love their wives, um, love their sexual partners much more, much more fully.